Shabbat Shalom. If you're joining us live or watching us later, I want to welcome all of you to uh, CBSW. We're not back in the building yet, but uh, I'm hoping that uh, the spirit of Shabbat will waft its way to wherever you are on this Memorial Day Shabbat. I'm going to begin with a poem, even though it's a morning poem, from one of my favorite poets, Mary Oliver, entitled Why I Wake Early, because I'm hoping in the three days ahead of us, We'll wake up early at least one of those days and go outside and enjoy these woods, this wilderness that we call home. Hello, sun in my face. Hello, you who make the morning and spread it over the fields and into the faces of the tulips and the nodding morning glories and into the windows of even the miserable and the crotchety. Best preacher that ever was, dear star that just happens to be where you are in the universe to keep us from ever darkness, to ease us with warm touching, to hold us in the great hands of light. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Watch now how I start the day in happiness, in kindness. And a Shabbat that is all about being in the wilderness. We look at the wilderness as a gift, these woodlands. May we enjoy them, enjoy good health and hope for a better tomorrow. We have our special prayer book on page two, a song of being together, Hinema Tov. Hinema Tov Manayim, Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. Hinema Tov Manayim, Shevet Achim Gam Shabbat Shalom. 
How good it is when we can hope to be together again. And for now, we're together in our own way. I'm going to try to move the microphone and see if I can capture the candles for our candle lighting. No promises. Oh, there we go. And uh, let's join together as we uh, welcome in Shabbat. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Kedishanu B'Mitzvotah B'Tzivanu Ladlik Ner Shel Shabbat. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Kedishanu B'Mitzvotah Betzivanu Lehalik Ner Amen. I hope that it's a restful Shabbat and a Shabbat full of light for all of us. We're going to continue as we uh, welcome in the uh, angels that accompany us on Shabbat. If you look, please, and sing along on page six. Shalom Aleichem, Aleichem Asharet, Aleichem Elyon. Bimelech, Aleichem Amlachim HaKadosh Baruch. Aleichem Leshalom, Aleichem Asharet, Aleichem Elyon. Bimelech, Aleichem Amlachim Kadosh Baruch, Baruch Ile Shalom, Aleche Ashalom, Aleche Elyon, Mi Melech, Aleche Amlachim, Kadosh Baruch, Tzedchem Le Shalom, Aleche Ashalom, Aleche Elyon. Bimelech, Malechei Hamlachim, HaKadosh Baruch I have to admit, I haven't been singing with you the uh, Hadudi. It just feels weird not to do it together. But uh, in a hopeful sign that our being together is closer, let's join together at least in one or two verses as we welcome in the spirit of Shabbat. Lecha dodi lekrat kala yala la yala la yala la ne shaba ne kavla ha 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 lecha dodi lekrat kala yala la yala la yala la ne shaba ne kavla shamor bezachor bini borechad ish mini anu. El Hameuchad, Adonai Echad, Ushmo Echad, the Shem will deferet, the Litila. Hey, Lechado di Likrat Kala, Yalala, 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 the Shabbat, the Kala, Ha, Lechado di Likrat Kala, Yalala, 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 the Shabbat. Page eight, please rise. Yet gada, yet gada, shame raba, be a madi rahi rute, be a mlech mahute, be ha ye honu yo me hon, who haye de hobet Israel, bagala, bagala, who is mahan kari, be a meru, amen. Yehesh me rabba me vorach, Lelam alal me al maya, yet barach, yet barach, vishtabach, be parvet rum, be na se, be ta dar, be ta lel, be ta lal, she made a good shabari hu, Lelam in hobichata vishirata, tush bechata venechemata, dami in ran be al ma vimeru. Amen. Ya la la, ya la la la, ya 
la 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 Barrehu et Adonai, Ame Vorach. Baruch Adonai, Ame Vorach, Le Olam Vayen. Baruch Adonai, Ame Vorach, Le Olam Vayen. Ya la la, ya la la la, ya la 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 la. Praise you, God, for creating this beautiful world. May we know its beauty in the future. May we take care of it so our children's children will know it too. We praise you, God, for giving us the Torah. We celebrate its wisdom. We follow its discipline, and we make the world a better place. We continue with the Shema. Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shem kivod, shem kivod, mahuto leolam vayet. Baruch shem kivod, shem kivod, mahuto leolam vayet. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. If you're standing, you may be seated. Continue with Deuteronomy chapter 6. Love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And these words which I command you on this day, shall be in your heart, shall be in your heart. Teach them faithfully unto your children, speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down and when you a sign upon your hand, that they may be a symbol between your eyes. Write them on the doorpost of your house, and upon your gates, and upon your gates. Teach them faithfully unto your children. Speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise, when you rise. We're almost at the end of our counting from Passover to Shavuot. We're in day 44, and uh, we have less than a week to go. As we remember the Israelites leaving slavery, marching towards freedom and the unknown and the beautiful heritage they would create. Little did they know how beautiful it would be. Page 14. Ha mo ha ba elim Adonai, 
We continue with the words, not exactly in your prayer book, not all of them, but an important prayer for the evening that we might lie down and rise up in peace. Hashkivenu. Hashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu L'Shalom, L'Shalom, Hamideinu Shomreinu L'Chayim. Froze Aleinu Sukkot Shlomecha, Froze Aleinu Sukkot Shlomecha, Shelter us beneath thy wings, O Adonai, help us from all harmful things, O Adonai, keep us safe throughout the night. Till we wake with morning's light, teach us God wrong from right. Amen. 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 Hashki benu Adonai Eloheinu Shalom. Shalom. Amidim shomrenu lechayim. Froze aleinu sukkat shlomecha. Froze aleinu sukkat shlomecha. Amen. I'd like to continue a little more lively with. Uh, Page 15's Bishamru. Please join in. Bishamru b'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat l'asod et ha-Shabbat v'dorat ha-Berit olam v'ni v'n b'nei Yisrael oti le'olam oti le'olam Bishamru b'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat Shabbat <laughs> We continue with our tefillah. If you're able, once again, please rise. Page 16. Adonai sefatatimtach ufia gitehilatecha. Turn, O God, open my lips, that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu, velohe avoteinu vimoteinu, elohe Abraham, elohe Yitzchak, velohe Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, 
Elohei Leav Elohei Rachel Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Vahanora El El Yom Gomer Chasadim Tovim Vekonei Hakol Vezocher Chasdei Avot Vimahot Mevi Gulali Vnei Vneihem Leman Shemo Biahava Melech Ozer Moshia Umagin Baruch Atadunai Magin Avraham Vesmurat Sara Atagi Bor Leolam Madonai Mechaye Kolata Rav Lehoshia Morid Hatal Mechal Kel Chaim Bechesed Mechaye Hako Berachamim Rabim Somech Noflim Verofe Cholim Umatira Surim Umikahayem Emunato Lishene Afar Micha Mocha Bal Givurot Umidomelach Melech Meimi to Mechaye Umats Miach Yeshua Beneman Atalachayot Hako Baruch Atarunai Mechaye Hako Ataka Dosh Vishim Chaka Dosh Ukiroshimiko Yom Yalalucha Sela Baruch Atarunai Hael Hakadosh. You may be seated. Let's continue on page 20 with the prayer for peace. After all, Memorial Day is uh, not just a time to celebrate as best as we can these days. It's also a time to remember those who have fallen defending this great country. O oh God, withdraw your ancient curse of Babel. Remove from humankind the confusion of tongues. For we built radar towers and trusted in them, atomic bombs and guided missiles and put our faith in them. Curse us no more with dumb power. Remove from us these speechless weapons. Bless us with the blessing of language so there can be speech even among angry people. Bless us with the blessing of understanding so even prejudiced people can understand. Grant us the divine power of words, O God, that we may speak with each other. Open their ears that we may hear, that they may hear us. Open their hearts that they may understand. Open their mouths that they may answer. Open our ears also and our hearts and our mouths. O return unto us all your children's speech, that we may once more speak together as children, as siblings, as fellow humans of peace. Tasim, 
תשים לעולם. I want to give a shout out to uh, Anna Levy, who would be having her bat mitzvah this weekend, were it not for the uh, situation that we're in, but we look forward to celebrating Anna with you and your family in the future. As we prepare for private silent prayer, I want to share with you a poem from the late poet Ruth Brin, because sometimes the wilderness is not outside of us, but inside of us. And when we take that journey inward, it's amazing what we might find. She wrote, no one ever told me the coming of the Messiah could be an inward thing. No one ever told me a change of heart might be as quiet as new fallen snow. No one ever told me that redemption was as simple as springtime and as wonderful as birds returning after a long winter. Rose breasted, gross beaks singing in the swaying branches of a newly budded tree. No one ever told me that salvation might be like a fresh spring wind blowing away the dried, withered leaves of another year, carrying the scent of flowers, the promise of fruition. What I found for myself, I try to tell you, redemption and salvation are very near, and the taste of them is in the world that God created and laid before us. We spend a few moments in private prayer. Shalom, shalom, aleinu, be upon Israel. Ya say shalom, shalom, aleinu, be upon Israel. Ya say shalom, Shalom in Roma, who ya say shalom aleinu. Who say shalom in Roma, who ya say shalom aleinu. Ya say shalom, ya say shalom, shalom aleinu. Ya say shalom, ya say shalom, shalom aleinu. Be up for Israel, ya say shalom, ya say shalom, shalom aleinu. Be up for Israel, ya say shalom, ya say shalom, shalom aleinu. Be up for Israel. Pray for peace on this Memorial Day weekend and this Yom Yerushalayim, this Jerusalem day. We pray for healing of body and soul for those in need of healing in these difficult times. May they know the healing they seek. May the world know the healing it seeks. Continue with Amisha Berach. <laughs> May the 
source of strength who blessed the ones before us. Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say the Shabbat of uh, the wilderness, Bamibar, I think uh, how lucky we are to be in these woodlands. I never have tired within the first year, and I don't think I ever will, of their beauty and their spiritual appeal. Sometimes you just need a wilderness when you need some spirituality. Now, Bamibar is the name of the Torah portion. It means in the wilderness. And we know that it's not the first time the wilderness has become important in the Torah. After all, back in the early part of Exodus, Moses, after killing an Egyptian and prior to his call to divine leadership, retreats to the wilderness. And he goes there to withdraw because he needs to escape not only Pharaoh, but society so he can find himself. Benu Bachi ben Asher from the Middle Ages says it was only in that space, far from the yeshiv, the dwelling place, the population that Moses could reenact the prophetic encounter of his ancestors. He needed to withdraw for spiritual and moral elevation. Like Moses, that solitary shepherd, the people of Israel in this week's Torah portion must also go into the spiritual place of a wilderness to be transformed, to be purified from that place of idolatry and slavery to be ready to enter the promised land. And this purification is represented by the desolate nature of the wilderness of Sinai, not our, of course, wilderness here in the woodlands. There it was a vast emptiness that was needed for a breakthrough of mind and soul. As Kathleen Norris has written, evoking life in the great plains of Dakota as a spiritual practice, when we go to the wilderness, the eye learns to appreciate slight variations the possibilities inherent in emptiness. It sees that emptiness is full of small things. A person is forced inward by the spareness of what is outward and visible in all this land and sky. She continues, maybe seeing the plains is like seeing an icon. What seems stern and almost empty is merely open a door into some simple and holy state. What I think uh, Norris is trying to tell us is that emptiness is actually not empty. It's an opening into another spiritual perception, an opening of the heart into the concealed indwelling of divine holiness. Likewise, Rabbi Nubaka asks, restating an earlier Midrashic teaching, why does the Torah emphasize God's speech to Moses, Bami Bar, in the wilderness? Why do we have to be told in the wilderness? It's to teach that a person does not attain the Torah until they've made themselves empty and abandoned like a wilderness. To receive the revelation of Torah, well, we have to at least let Torah take root in our hearts only by making ourselves a midbar, an inner empty wilderness that can be ready because it's cleared of all the weeds and brush that obstruct true perception and feeling, a wilderness that returns to the first purity of nature. One should seek to attain what we call hefker, feeling unbounded by the pride and egoism of ownership. We have to cease being attached to materialism. The modern scholar Eitan Fishbane writes the following, in emptiness consciousness, hefker consciousness, we train our spiritual sight to see the divine presence that dwells beneath the surface beneath the many golden calves of our obsessions, possessions, and wayward priorities. And this is a radical reinvention 
of the concept of healthcare, it is not only an emptiness of physical, but it is a spiritual abandonment and ownerlessness, ownerlessness. In this reading, the Midbar, the desert, the wilderness might be an embodiment of emptiness. It's an inner cleansing that allows us to go deeper on our own spiritual path. Becoming Hefger by Midbar, empty in the wilderness, it's a process of letting go of our imprisonment in materiality, in ephemeral and finite desires. It's a liberation. As Rabbi Nachman of Bratzlav taught, the most profound opening of the heart to God takes place in the physical space of darkness and wilderness, the frightening ground of loneliness and alienation. In Hebrew, we call this hit bodedut, solitude. Now, I know it's difficult, especially if we've been uh, making sure we're with our family in a house to find solitude, but don't laugh. Sometimes we just have to put on the headphones and close the eyes, and that counts too. It's all about emptying our minds and hearts of society's overwhelming drumbeat. We have to let go of our ego at times. Only if we can do that in our own empty vulnerability before God can our hearts be opened to God. There's a psychological price we pay when we don't find that time. It's been taught that you will attain the true soul of Torah only when you make yourself an empty wilderness. A person cleansed of superficial obsessions, gentle and generous towards other people, one who has nullified the grip of pride and egoism. This is the whole point of Jewish spirituality because the Torah can only be discovered when we make ourselves empty, poor of mind, rich of mind. It's not the point. It's not about being better or worse. We nullify that part of our ego And through that, we become united to something far greater than us. True spiritual refinement, the deepest refinement, attainment of emptiness in the wilderness, is not about individual mystical growth. It's about making ourselves part of the greater world. And when we do so, we leave that place and we're part of the world, but we're better and we make the world better. It's not about staying in the wilderness. It's about being there and then leaving. There's a story about a sage who prayed every day through his long life to find that special feeling of closeness with God. That's all he wanted. He wanted nothing else. That's all he thought about. And one day it happened. He felt God's presence and a voice said, what is it that you desire, my child? And the sage said, this is all I've ever wanted, to feel close to you. I'm not thinking about myself. I'm only thinking about you, God. I am fulfilled. And a voice comes back with disappointment and says, have you never seen a hungry child? The point of the wilderness is not a place to stay. It's a place to grow, to be refreshed, renewed, refocused. But that's still a small voice to guide us back to our society. And so I hope that we'll find ourselves more blessed because of our wilderness outside and inside May this weekend afford many moments of joy, good health, but also growth. Amen. We have reached day 44 of our Omer. We're almost out of time. Shavuot is next week. We hope you'll join us for some services. Here's our Omer board. We are in now the seventh week um, in that we've completed six weeks and two days now. And so we Say the blessing for the counting of the Omer as it leads us towards Sinai. Shashvuot, 
Please rise as we are joined together in the Alenu, which you can find on page 24. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol, l'atet gedula l'yotzer b'reshit, shalo asanu k'goye haratzot, v'lo samanu k'mishpachot hadama, shalo sam chalkenu kahem v'gor aleinu k'chol hamonam, v'anachnu korim u'mishtachavim u'modim, l'fne melech malche hamlachim hakadosh baruchu. V'nemar v'haya Adonai l'melech al kol haaretz v'yom ahu v'yom ahu ye Adonai echad u'shemo 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 echad. I mentioned Memorial Day earlier, and of course this is a sad time as we remember those who have fallen defending our country in our wars defending our country from terrorists. We hope that war one day will end and Memorial Day can just be a day of remembrance of something that never happens anymore. In the meantime, we do think of those who have passed away, our soldiers. And uh, this time of year, I like to turn back to Archibald MacLeish's haunting poem. The young dead soldiers do not speak. Nevertheless, they are heard in the still houses who has not heard them. They have a silence that speaks for them at night and when the clock counts, they say, we were young, we have died, remember us. They say we have done what we could, but until it is finished, it is not done. They say we have given our lives, but until it is finished, no one can say what our lives gave. They say our deaths are not ours, our deaths are yours. They will mean what you make them. They say, whether our lives and our deaths were for peace and a new hope or for nothing, we cannot say. It is you who must say this. We leave you our deaths. Give them their meaning. We were young, they say. We have died. Remember us. On the Shabbat, we also think of loved ones of our congregation who have passed away in recent months and laid to rest also in recent days. Harriet Gardner, Paul Schechter, Erwin Schulman, Joan Ruvel Loeb, Esther Andis, Atura Werner Weichschel Strauss, Teresa Fox, Johanna Walker, Mark Singer, Jim Monroe, Roberta Appel, Shavy Wasserman, Dan Lightman, Charles Snyder Hirschberg, Noreen Solomon, Ray Ann, Sylvia Burdovsky, Robert Muller, Abraham S. Teitelbaum, Gloria Drowetsky, Marcin Tarlow, Josh Fiddler, and Jim Ann. We also call to mind dear ones whose yard site occurs this week, Lev Friedman, Signe Larson, and Meyer Spector. And we will let, and we will also remember as she is laid to rest on this Sunday, Jody Lynn Kurtzman, sister of our member. Rana Platt. May all their lives continue, even in death, especially in death, to be a legacy of light, of love, of life itself. Continue with the Kaddish. Yit Gadal, Vit Gadash, Shemeh Rabbah, Vyalma, Divra, Chirute, Vyam Lichma, Chute, Vichayechon, Vyom Echon, Vichayedicho, Beit Yisrael, Vagalav, Isman, Karibim, Ru, Amen. Yehe Shme Raba Mavarach Le Alamo Ome Almaya Yit Barach Vishtabach Vit Baar Vit Roman Vit Nase Vit Adar Vit Alel Vit Alal Shemeda Kudisha Berichu Le Alam in Kol Birchata Vishirata Tush Pechata Venechemata Damiran Biama Vimru Amen Yehe Shlama Raba Min Shemaya Vachayim Alenu Via Ko Yisrael Vimru Amen Ose Shalom Bim Romav Uya Se Shalom Alenu v'alko Yisrael b'imru, Amen. O se shalom b'imru mav, hu ya se shalom. Alenu v'alko Yisrael 
Ve'yimeru. Amen. A few announcements. Shavuot uh, is next week, of course. Thursday night, we will have a Zoom study session at 8 p.m. featuring cheesecake, if you make it or buy it and have it, because we're still not together. Friday morning, we'll have our 10 a.m. service, including Yisker, on Facebook Live, just as we're having Facebook Live today. You'll find it the same way. Tomorrow, we have Torah study at 8.30 on Zoom. We, of course, also hope that you will find yourselves healthy and safe on this Memorial Day weekend. We're going to conclude with a song and an apology. The apology is I don't have the song in this special prayer book, but hopefully you know the chorus by heart. We're going to sing a couple of the verses because we're just finishing up Yom Yishalayim, Jerusalem Day. It was in 1967 that Jerusalem became unified, and Naomi Shemer, the author of the song, had written a song, and it was sad because she was writing about not being able to have Jerusalem as a whole. And um, during the Six-Day War, she was stationed to uh, entertain troops in the Sinai when she was told that uh, Jerusalem was now unified. And she said, well, the good news is I love Jerusalem unified. The bad news is I have to write another verse, which she did. So this was debuted in May 1967, before the Six-Day War, and it, of course, immediately became beloved. Yerushalayim shall zahav. Aviarim salukayayin vereachorani Nisabaruach harbayim in kopa amoni Uftarim atilan beheven Shvuya bechaloma Hayir asher badan yoshevet uvuliba Oma Yerushalayim shel zahav v'shel lechoshet v'shalor halo lechol shirai chani kinor Yerushalayim shel zahav v'shel lechoshet v'shalor halo lechol shirai chani kinor Echa yashu borod hamayim Kikar hashuk reka, vein pokeret harabayit bayira atika. Uva marot asher basela, meyalalot ruchot. Vein yoret el yam hamelech vederech yericho. Yerushalayim shel zahab, v'shel nechoshet v'shelor. Halo lechol shiraich haniki. Yerushalayim shel zahab, v'shel nechoshet v'shelor, halo lechoshiraich hanikinor. Jerusalem of gold, a bronze and of light, am I not a harp for all your songs? Shabbat Shalom.